Hey everybody. So this is my new uh, X-Carve Pro four foot by four foot vacuum table that I just made. Um, show a couple quick features. So I've got a two and a half inch hole um, for the vacuum port that is accessed from under the table just to a shop vac. Uh, filter and bag have been taken out of the shop vac to give it a little bit better suction and not to promote overheating. This little tiny piece of foam here, this is 3 16 um, inch foam. Let me called backer rod. I got it at the big box store over by the windows. I don't know what it's originally for, but um, it works great for this. You can see, you know, it gets right down in these channels. You just push it down in there. There's no gaps or anything. Um, this is for defining what size space you want to use to hold down. If I'm putting a four foot by four foot sheet of MDF on here, I don't need to put any of that stuff at all. But if I'm going to do this little piece right here, I'm just going to set it on there. See how easily it moves around. I'm going to turn on the back. That was literally shaking the whole table. So this thing works amazingly. Uh, this piece of plastic here is the same stuff you'd get at the grocery store for a cutting board. This is HDPE. I ended up cutting through the label so it's not super useful anymore. But this was uh, basically about a little bit less than a half inch. It was a four foot by eight foot sheet that I purchased at International Plastics. I got it three years ago and it was probably about 150 bucks then. Don't know what it is now, um, but this stuff is amazing. I used it as a leather working table where I did all my cutting and, um, you know, cutting on the leather, cutting and punching and everything. This was the clean side. So I flipped it over, ran a grid through here. And like I said, two and a half inch port or whatever port your vacuum is going to support. And this thing is a rock star. Um, and it, right now I just literally have this just, you know, a couple nails, pin nails shot into the table to hold it in place. Um, I did flatten my table before I put this on. And then I flattened the back side of this, put those together, shot the pin nails, cut the grid. And that's where I'm at right now. The program I cut it in because I'm using a X carve is easel. So this is what my file looks like right here. And I used this uh, individual vacuum port because before I cut the whole thing, I cut through the wasteboard portion with the vacuum port. Then I put the white top on and then I cut the vacuum port a second time so that I wasn't having to try to drop all the way down through a whole bunch of uh, plastic plus the three quarter inch MDF. This vacuum port, the way I've got it set up, is with a um, adapter. So this is like to connect two hoses together. So that's why it's inch and a half. This outer diameter of this connector is, sorry, that's why it's two and a half inches. The outer portion of this um, connector is two and a half inches wide. So if you're going to go to where you don't use the adapter and you just want to plug straight in from this um, vacuum hose right into that hole, you have to figure out what exactly, um, you know, two and a quarter or whatever it's going to be. And then you can see right here, it's just kind of a pressure fit in here. And that's it. So if I was going to make any changes, one, I, I'm going to silicone this in, but if I was going to make any changes... I would have cut the MDF to two and a half and I would have cut the plastic to just under two and a half so that it would create a lip for this to sit against because right now it could possibly pull up and make contact with the plywood and when it does that, it's only holding the plywood in that little tiny space. 
I also cut this square out right here so this is completely cleaned out uh, to give a little bit of you know channels for all these places to come in and like I said this goes all the way across the whole table as you can see and one downside to this table using this material is it's it's got sharp corners these are these are pretty sharp but this grid it was is one inch by one inch everything is spaced at the one inch mark and then I cut it with a quarter inch bit and I went halfway through the material which was I think the material is 3 16 so I went halfway through that it's turned out pretty awesome um, one of the challenges I did have was cutting the plastic and the vacuum boot for the X carve you can see right here is just super narrow in here and it had a hard time clearing the plastic I've never had any issues clearing sawdust through here but the plastic kept jamming up in here and plugging up and that that did make it a little bit more challenging uh, so what I had to do is at my vacuum connector right here if I added a little air gap just like that so I would come over and just pull it open and it would it would work perfectly fine it just needed more airflow to be able to clear that tube um, which was weird I've never had that happen before so take it for what it's worth I've got some very poor quality I'm not gonna say poor quality I've got some par very poorly edited uh, videos of me kind of putting this together uh, in with the cuts and everything in between I will load those up as well um, I'm gonna have files for this on my Etsy page if you want to check that out if you're interested in this literally nothing changes except for you know the size bed you need to make it so if you buy the file and scale it right down to the size of bed you're using and everything would be perfectly easy to go and this was super easy I mean literally I've given you all the information you need to design this it'll take you 10 minutes if you just design it yourself um, but if you if you need help the Etsy page will be there for a couple bucks just grab it and, and go straight to it all right good luck thanks for watching